Hello, this is Thomas Südpacker speaking. How uh, do we get sensor data into the I2T cloud and use it in Bluemix? How to handle and store the incoming data and uh, how to use Bluemix services and provide the information we got over a web page and a mobile device. First of all, we have a sensor. The sensor is the point of interest and here our sensor provides temperature data. The temperature data is sent via Bluetooth to an um, app on a mobile device. This app utilizes the MQTT API to send the data to the IoT cloud in the Internet. The IoT cloud provides the actual information with the temperature which is provided by the app on the mobile device. The question is, what do we do with these data? Now we can access the data and utilize it in a platform as a service in Bluemix. There we build an app where we can examine the temperature data and build a business logic around this. We can store the data and we can reuse services. This application uses Node-RED for the easy integration of the IoT. You will see this in videos later. The next is we utilize services to store data inside Bluemix. There we use the Cloudant. And the temperature status will be provided in a text format and also in a speech format. To provide the speech format, we use uh, the text to speech from Watson and use it as a service inside Bluemix. To provide a professional, stable framework, and runtime for our mobile app, we use Mobile First. Mobile First runs in a container also on Bluemix. Bluemix is the one stop shop for the application and services and containers and also VMware's. So it's a real platform as a service. So, but now take a look how the data come into our IoT. With a mobile device, we connect directly to the sensor. Therefore, we use the Bluetooth connection. The sensor will provide the data and the app of the vendor. Utilize the MQTT API and will send to the IoT cloud to provide the data directly to Bluemix IoT. This is the temperature sensor and that's the app. We can observe the temperature on the app, so it's changing and all the data is directly sent to the IoT on Bluemix. This is the starting point to answer the question how will all these things be managed and used inside of Bluemix. Here you can see this is the sample application which is created to handle the data from the sensor and store the data and maybe also use some other services like text-to-speech. We utilize Node-RED the visual tool for wiring Internet of Things on our Node.js server to build a logic and to bind services. Here, this is our input from our Internet of Things. Therefore, we use one of these nodes. The first short video shows getting the sensor data into Bluemix and starting point inside Bluemix with Node-RED. I hope the information was useful for you and thanks for watching.